Blessed morning. Here's our scripture passage for today. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23 to 25. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23-25 Let me pose a question. Have you ever been frustrated with yourself? No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to get things right. You try to be patient in dealing with uh, a co-worker, but his attitude, his personality really eats up all of your patience and kindness. What about your spouse? He or she knows exactly what to say to uh, get under your skin. What about that addiction? Every time you hear God's word, you decide, you decide to change for the better. But after two days, you give in. You know, even great followers of Jesus struggle with sin. One of the most devoted Christians in the first century, the Apostle Paul. We know him as the man who was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write much, most of the New Testament. But this man struggled with sin. One way the Bible talks about is observing the Lord's Supper with other believers as a renewal of our faith. This is a time of gratitude in thinking back to the crucifixion of Jesus. We remember the price that Jesus paid. He paid so high a price so that we could be forgiven. Forgiven of the judgment we deserve because of our sins. Regularly observing the Lord's Supper with other believers is an opportunity to renew our faith. It's where a Christian remembers what Christ has done to pay the penalty for all that sin. Out of gratitude, we, we renew our vows of commitment to Him. We all have baggages. There's not a person alive that has it all together. I mean, uh, perfect, everything correct. We all struggle with our sins. In the Lord's Supper, we are brought back to the incredible love of Jesus. We are brought back to the fact that Christ has paid the ultimate price to die on the cross in our behalf. When we remember that, the Lord's Supper is a renewal of faith, not to try harder but a renewed commitment to follow Jesus in gratitude for His grace and for His love for us. You don't have to wait on observing the Lord's Supper. You can do it today. Stop dragging your baggage around. Just leave it at the foot of the cross. Then the observance of the Lord's Supper will mean even more.